Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commandant of the Marine Corps, General David H. Berger, welcome to the Marine Corps cake cutting ceremony celebrating the 245th birthday of the United States Marine Corps. Please rise for the arrival of the official party. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please stand by for the presentation of the colors and the playing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. On 1 November 1921, the 13th Commandant of the Marine Corps, Lieutenant General John A. Lejeune, directed that a reminder of the honorable service of the Corps be published by every command to all Marines around the globe on the birthday of the Corps. Since that day, Marines have continued to distinguish themselves on many battlefields and foreign shores in war and peace. On this birthday of the Corps, therefore, in compliance with the will of our 13th Commandant, Article 38 of the Marine Corps Manual, edition of 1921, is republished as follows. On November 10, 1775, a Corps of Marines was created by a resolution of the Continental Congress. Since that date, many thousand men have borne the name Marine. In memory of them, it is fitting that we who are Marines should commemorate the birthday of our Corps by calling to mind the glories of its long and illustrious history. The record of our Corps is one which will bear comparison that of which the most famous military organizations in the world's history. During 90 of the 146 years of its existence, the Marine Corps has been in action against the nation's foes. From the Battle of Trenton to the Argonne, Marines have won foremost honors in war and in long eras of tranquility at home. Generation after generation of Marines have grown gray in war in both hemispheres and in every corner of the seven seas so that our country and its citizens might enjoy peace and security. In every battle and skirmish since the birth of our Corps, Marines have acquitted themselves with the greatest distinction, winning new honors on each occasion until the term Marine has come to signify all that is highest 
It's in military efficiency and soldierly virtue. This high name of distinction and soldierly repute, we who are Marines today have received from those who precede us in the Corps. With it, we have also received from them the eternal spirit, which has animated our Corps from generation to generation and has been the distinguishing mark of the Marines in every age. So long as that spirit continues to flourish, Marines will be found equal to every emergency in the future, as they have been in the past. And the men of our nation will regard us as worthy successors to a long line of illustrious men who served the soldiers of the sea since the founding of our Corps. This inspiring message of our 13th Commandant has left its mark in the hearts and minds of Marines. By deed and act, from Bellawood to the Argonne, from Guadalcanal to Iwo Jima, from Incheon to the Korean Armistice, in interventions from Lebanon to the Dominican Republic, from the opening battles of Vietnam to Grenada, Panama, and Kuwait, and from operations in Somalia and Kosovo to those in Iraq and Afghanistan, Marines have continued to epitomize those qualities which are their legacy. The success they have achieved in combat and the faith they have borne in peace will endure. The Commandant and our many friends have added their hearty praise and congratulations on this, our 245th birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of the Marine Corps birthday cake. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. One tradition of the Marine birthday is the cake cutting ceremony. This ceremony is important to all Marines as it is an annual renewal of each Marine's commitment to the Corps and the Corps' commitment to our nation's quest for peace and freedom worldwide. The birthday cake is traditionally cut with the Mameluke sword as a reminder that we are a band of warriors committed to carrying the sword so that our nation may live in peace. The first piece of cake is presented to the oldest Marine in attendance as a sign of honor and respect accorded to experience and seniority. Our oldest Marine commissioned in the Marine Corps on 14 July 1942. He was born on 9 August 1920 and is a veteran of World War II, having fought on New Britain, Peleliu Island, and Okinawa, Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 100-year-old Colonel Louis Schott, United States Marine Corps, retired. For 245 years, our experienced Marines have nurtured and led young Marines to fill our ranks and renew our Corps. 
Our oldest Marine will now pass the piece of cake to the youngest Marine in attendance, symbolizing the passing of wisdom, knowledge, and experience, as well as signifying trust and confidence in those who will carry on our Marine Corps traditions in the future. The youngest Marine present is Private First Class Christian T. Harris, who currently serves as legal specialist with Navy and Marine Corps Appellate Review Activity, Headquarters United States Marine Corps. PFC Harris enlisted in the Marine Corps on 16 December 2019 and was born on 4 May 2001. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the retirement of the colors and the departure of the official party. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the playing of the Marines hymn. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. On behalf of the Commandant and the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, thank you for your attendance. Semper Fidelis and happy birthday, Marines.